adapt, improve, improvise. That was the greatest lesson I learned while serving in the Roman army under Gaius Julius Caesar. But it wasn't the first thing. Hello, my name is Marcus Vitruvius, and I've been asked by the lovely people at my journey to come here from 2,000 years in the past to your present to talk to you about your future. Yes, I was a member of the Roman army. I went to Spain and Gaul, which is France, even to the shores of Britannia, and then back to Italy and some other places like Turkey and the Mediterranean during the civil war that Caesar fought against his old friend Pompey. And although the greatest lesson I learned was adapt, improve, improvise, the very first one I learned when marching in the Roman army is don't be at the back. <laughs> Can you imagine being in the very, very rear behind all of those soldiers, hundreds upon thousands of marching men who are unwashed and sweaty, who spend all day fighting and they haven't had a bath and there's no deodorant? <laughs> oh, it smells disgusting. Oh, it's horrible. I noticed as well, the more people at the back, they'd be breathing in not just the smell, but the dust and the filth that would be churned up by all of the marching men. All of the dirt on the ground and the grass seeds and the hay, or the filth from wherever you were would go up into the air like a great big plume, and then we'd all breathe it in. It was called a um, miasma. Not a uh, miasma, that's something else entirely. But miasma is an ancient Greek word which means bad air. All of those people will be marching along. Eh, oh, by the way, there's bits you can join in with this video. Now, if you're a bit old and a bit cool, then you can just, you know, sit near the back and look fancy. But if you want to join in, then stand up right now and let's do this. So, where are we marching? Let's do the marching. There we are, marching. You can do dance marching if you like. Oh, yeah, dance marching. Or even floss marching. Oh, yeah, floss marching. I'm doing it. I'm really good at floss. I don't. I know you can't see my arms or, or, or my legs, but I'm totally doing it right now, and I'm amazing, yeah. So, there I was, floss marching, floss marching, floss marching, floss marching, but breathing in all of the miasma, and it would make people poorly, it would make them cough, can you all cough for him and do this? Are the adults doing it? Are they? Are the adults doing it? Make them do it. Make them shame them. Make them do it. They would also be coughing and being sick. Get ready, everyone gonna be sick after three. Nice big full cheeks when you pretend the sick is in your mouth and then vomit all over your own shoes. Ready? Three, two, one. And again. Three, two, one. One more time. Three, two, one. <laughs> and they would cry, cry. <laughs> I've been sick of my own feet. <sighs> they would be very sad. So the key was not to be at the back at all, which meant we had to adapt, improvise, improve. We had to make sure we were going to be at the front. But how? It was especially difficult for me. I wasn't just a normal legionary. I was in charge of some of the siege engines. That's catapults and ballistae and huge scorpion bows. We had to pack them down onto trailers every day. We had to put them in boxes, which took a load of organising. How could we make sure this was quick? How could we be at the front of that marching order first so we didn't get all the bad air in our lungs? Easy. Planning. So... I organised and made a series of boxes of different sizes that were the exact size of the materials we were using. Therefore, when we got them off, we developed a system to put them back into place in the correct order, just like putting away your toys or Lego or stacking blocks. And we were very quickly ready before anybody else. You can stack these with me. Ready? Put your hands like this. We're going to stack the big box, medium, small. Big, medium, small, yeah, big, medium, small, yeah, big, medium, small, now, big, medium, small, keep doing that, big, medium, small, but pack it down, pack it down, pack it down, pack all the boxes down, smash them in, smash them in, smash them in, smash them in, sort them out, sort them out, sort them out, sort them out, screw them down, screw them down, screw them down, screw them down, happy time, happy time because we weren't at the back. Because we organized and planned so brilliantly, we were now at the front, and we could breathe in different air. No miasma for us, no clean, fresh, lovely air when we were marching through the countryside of countries that we would um, bring civilization to, yeah. Now breathe in for me, everyone, ready? And out. Ah. Happy face. One more time, in. And out. Ah. Happy face! Yeah. And I noticed that we felt a bit healthier. We were at the front. And we were a bit stronger at the end of a day's march, too. Now, 
I wasn't in the Roman army for long. No, I served my time and I decided to have a change of job. So I went back to Rome and became an architect, making buildings. I got tired of destroying them with catapults. I would build them now. But I noticed even in Rome, there was the miasma around the industry and the factories and the warehouses, even around the places where the bricks were made for the buildings, people would get ill. And in certain places, near the warehouses, near the industry, near the swamps in particular, the pestilence and the bad air and the flies uh, <coughs> would make people very ill. On one time, a load of houses I had helped build made people very sick because they were right next to the swamp and I had to get everybody out. Now you can help with this bit as well. We're going to raise our knees in the air. You can't see mine, so I'll point up when we raise and then I'll point down when you put your feet down. Ready? So raise your knee and make this noise. Well done. Okay, do it again. And then down is this. Very good. We're going to walk out the swamp together. Ready? A bit faster. And cheer! Yeah. The people were very happy and no longer ill because they'd not been living near the bad air and we had saved them from the miasma. I was very pleased until my journey brought me to this time because the miasma's not gone away, has it? It's still here. Called now air pollution and caused by different things. Still industry, but caused by cars and lorries and trucks and those huge roads you might have to walk past. Well, you'll be pleased to know, children, that you are the future and you can do something just like the Roman legions did. You can organize, you can plan, adapt, improve and improvise. Use your creativity and your planning and your minds to make your journey to school better. It doesn't matter if it's a continuing journey to a school you know or a new journey to a school or a place you've never been before. There are plenty of different maps and apps I'm sure you can consult to work out exactly how to get to school. It doesn't have to be along a main road. You can go through a park. You could go along a footpath or a field, providing you're with grown-ups or um, <clears throat> with friends as you're old enough. And even if you are going along an area where you can't avoid the traffic, you can go perhaps in a healthy way. Make sure you're walking or marching or maybe doing a bit of scooting. Yes, scooting along. Scooting's great. Or cycling. Do some cycling, some cycling, cycling, cycling on those bone-shaking velocipedes, those bicycles I've heard so much about. You'll be much fitter. And because you'll be fitter, you'll be stronger. Your lungs will be better and have a greater chance at resisting that pollution. Remember, it could destroy all of the world. So helping us make the air better is helping the planet become better. You are planning for the planet's health as well as your own. Make sure... You plan together, make sure you get together with grown-ups or with families or with friends and go out there and explore, find a new way to get to your school or a new way to get to a new school. And just like the Roman armies of old, you can have adventures all of your very own. Thank you very much for listening. Keep the air fresh, avoid the miasma and stay safe. <laughs>